A warm welcome to Grease Start. My name is Rick Berg. I'm the author of this course and feel very honored and privileged to be part of your grief journey. We're going to get to know each other very well during the next 10 weeks that you are enrolled in this course. I'm thankful that you've enrolled in Grief Start. I think you're really going to appreciate the chorus and all of its content. Please stick with it to the very end and try to work through the various lessons. I really want this to be practical and useful. I don't want this to be a lot of work for you, but I still need you to invest some time and effort into the chorus so that you can take full advantage of all the tools that will benefit you at this point in your grief journey. Can I tell you a story? You might wonder why I wrote this chorus and why it's important to me. Well, please allow me to share just a little bit of that history so that you might understand where I'm coming from. It really is the distillation of 35 years of working with people who have experienced the death of a special person in their life. But it also includes my personal experience with grief as well. In my early 50s, I made one of the most difficult and pivotal decisions I've ever had to make in my life. I quit a secure job and focused 100% of all my time and energy on the area of grief and loss. I said no to a stable income, health benefits, pension, and a structured plan for retirement. There was something inside me that said, you need to follow your heart. I came to realize that the most difficult experience in my life having a wife who died at 47 and the journey of grief that followed with my four kids needed to be shared with others who were trying to figure out how to find joy following the death of someone special in their life. I knew that people would be questioning my decision to move in a direction at my age, and they did. It was hard. But when you feel called to do something I believe in and stick with it, there's nothing more important than following it through. For 10 years, I stayed focused on my calling and purpose. 10 long years. And now it's ready to be shared with the world. But it goes back even further than this. For over 35 years as a pastor and counselor, I met with people who were grieving. I would listen to them. I would do my best to empathize. And then they would come back the following week. And I would do the same thing over and over again, often for weeks on end. People seem to be stuck in their grief. Most people who are grieving are told it will get better over time, or if you are not moving forward, you have a problem. You're not being able to let go of the past. This might seem like very logical statements, but I realized that it was more harmful than good, especially after my wife died. I didn't want to push her away. I didn't want to get rid of the rest of the memories. She was the mother of our four children. We spent 25 years together as a married couple. We had a wonderful life with her. Well, I was incredibly lonely following her death and missed her so much. When I began to examine what it was I missed about Pam, I realized it was joy. The joy that she brought in my life. I knew that Pam could no longer give that to me but wondered how long I could manage until joy would be restored again. How could I be open to receive joy once again, but still honor my relationship with Pam in a healthy manner moving forward? The missing piece became inclusion, not exclusion. I began to ask, how could we include Pam into our next chapter, fully aware that she could not be part of our lives the same way as before? Then I realized, that's exactly what I could do. It was an aha moment for me. I began to experience joy returning to my life when I intentionally invited or included Pam into our new chapter in a different way, yet still significant and important. Well, this is my story. I'm wondering about yours. You also have an important story with someone who has died that you need to include into your next chapter. I believe that Grief Start will provide a framework that will help you to unfold the ongoing story of your life that includes the person who you miss and always will love. You will be writing the next chapter and this course will help you pick up your pen and consider what that might be. 
So again, why should we commit to this chorus and put in our full efforts? Because we need a new understanding of grief that can help us to move forward. So then what is grief? Well, grief is missing someone you love and always will. Grief is a reminder of the depth of your love for that person who is no longer physically part of your life. Without love, there is no grief. And it's really hard and it's really sad when somebody dies. Where are some people able to move into grief while others seem to skirt around it or get pushed back by it? And why are some people able to find happiness and joy following the death of a loved one while others remain in their loneliness? Why is it that some people are able to open up themselves to a different path while others can't imagine living another day without that person who has died? If you are grieving someone special in your life right now and feel overwhelmed with sadness, loneliness, or find yourself constantly crying but want to experience joy again, or if you're wishing you had some practical tools to help you move forward while still including the person who died into your next chapter, or if you're searching for some immediate help to lighten the heavy grief that is weighing you down right now, you've come to the right place. You are in the right place and you have chosen the chorus that will help you soon. See you soon in Grief Start.